Well, good evening, everybody. So I've talked in several videos now about an upcoming project that I have, and I think it's time to tell you a little bit about what that project is. So let's get started. So here on my property, we've had a need for some time to rebuild one of our outbuildings. And it seems like the perfect time and the perfect opportunity to be able to integrate some additional solar into that outbuilding rebuild. So let's head on outside and I want to show you what the plan is and what I am going to add to it, hopefully with starting the next few weeks. So as we come outside, it's actually a perfect example day of why our little outbuilding needs to be rebuilt. It is a very nasty and windy day, very gloomy. We're not getting much solar coming in at all. And I'm hoping that this, this little fuzz thing is actually doing its job and you're, all you're not hearing is wind. But behind me, we have a chicken coop, duck coop, and a little run space for the ducks. Uh, we have ducks full time, and then we get meat birds several times a year, and we're actually looking at doing egg laying chickens as well. But this roof over top of this run, it's kind of rednecky. <laughs> I mean, there's really no better way to put it. Um, you know, we built it to keep critters out and then we threw tarps over top. But you see how it's all bunched up behind me? The wind, anytime the wind blows hard, it just grabs it and rips it to shreds. And the, the coop right here, the, where's my hand? Right there. <laughs> the coop was actually an old pump house that we converted into a coop. And it's worked fine for our needs, but we knew that at some point we were going to have to redo this. And so the goal this summer, spring, summer, is to try and basically rebuild the roof structure and then rebuild the run area for a solid roof. And that actually gave me an idea. I need more solar, so why not throw a solar roof on it? And so I think we're going to try it. <laughs> I've seen it done before for certain other things. I don't know that I've seen it done for like a, a coop and a run, but we'll try it and see. So I don't know that I'll bring necessarily bring you along on the entire rebuild process, just because, I don't know, I, I don't know if I want to really film all that and mess with it. Maybe, I mean, I guess if there's enough people that actually want to see the process, but I'll bring you along definitely on the solar aspect. When we get to add in the solar panels, we'll have to trench from over here over to Somewhere over in here, I'm going to end up putting a, probably another pull box on the front of the barn over here. But it should be a fun project. This should help significantly in the wintertime. I'm potentially going to be able to add around 5 kilowatts of solar potential on here with the panels that I'm using. I'm just going to get some used panels. It's, it's a run. I don't want it to be nice new panels. Uh, there's a lot of shading anyways, so why put new high production panels when I know that they're going to be shaded a lot. But anyways, so I'm going to rebuild a lot of this, add the solar roof over the run portion. We still want to keep a solid roof over top of the coop. And I might try and design and level everything out so that we can add panels right on top of the coop as well. We'll see. I mean, it's kind of a fluid project. We'll, we'll make changes as we need to. We'll get that started here, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And, and that 
solar roof kind of prompted me and kicked me for the other part of the project, really. So for that, we have to head back inside down to the utility room again. So with the solar roof comes the need for at least one charge controller to be able to convert that power and put it into the battery. And so I thought for an awful long time, you know, what should I get? Do I get another 450-100? Do I get a handful of the smaller 250-70s? You know, it, it took me a while to, to figure it out. And I started to realize that as I go through and try and take my home off grid, I, I find myself testing a lot of these little things and I enjoy the testing aspect. And it hit me one day, why not use this opportunity of needing another charge controller to test out an inverter? And use the inverter as the charge controller and get to play with it at the same time. And so there's been a lot of behind the scenes changes that have taken place over the last month or so maybe. And they're not all done yet, but I'll show you anyways. So I've got my workbench area, which I added a pegboard behind. I could add all a bunch of my tools, tried to clean it all up and make it nice and neat instead of having to stare at that yellow wall all the time that I'm working on stuff. I've been toying around with doing this for a long time and this was the perfect opportunity to build a test wall to where I can add different inverters, charge controllers, whatever. I've designed it in a way that I should be able to easily change components in and out quickly for different size inverters that I would need to test. I've got it all wired in to a transfer switch, which lets me switch between a grid connection or my test wall connection. And then I can pull AC grid power from this panel here. And then this will be my combiner. So I tried to use a lot of the existing pieces and components that I have already, that I've had in the past. So I didn't have to spend a ton of money, but it's, it's nice to actually be able to, to build this and utilize it, not only for bringing in this extra solar, but also for testing out additional hardware. And so I did order an inverter that I'm going to test out and, and play around with for bringing in that PV. And that inverter is this one right here. And we'll be able to mount that on our new test wall and see how it performs. It should be interesting. It should be fun. I am not getting rid of my Victron inverters for those of you that are curious. This is purely for, for testing purposes. I'll use it for bringing the PV in from that new array. Maybe we'll have some batteries and stuff that we can test with it, connect to everything. Maybe we'll use it to power the house. I don't know, but we're gonna test stuff with it. So I'm looking forward to the projects coming up, you know, messing with the coop and adding all the solar panels and, and rebuilding everything. And then also getting the, the new inverter up on the test wall to be able to try it out, see how well it works, and play around with all the different settings and just see how it ultimately performs. So we've got a lot of fun stuff planned coming up here, so make sure you stay tuned. And with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.